everybody. This is a time especially for kids, but for people of all ages, and we get to share the scripture reading today and then think about it a little bit together. So this comes um, from a part of the Bible called the Book of Proverbs, which is a collection of wisdom, and it's addressed to my child. So Zoe agreed to help us tell this little poem, these Proverbs. And it's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 21 through 26. And it goes like this. Maybe will you help me act it out a little bit? Um, Brendan is waking up. I don't think so. I think she's still asleep. And actually, that's a good segue because this is all about sleep. Okay, here it goes. My child, do not let these escape from your sight. Keep sound wisdom and prudence and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. Then you will walk on your way securely. <laughs> and your foot will not stumble. If you sit down, you will not be afraid. And when you lie down, <laughs> Your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden panic or of the storm that strikes the wicked. For the Lord will be your confidence. Oh, sorry. Is that it? The Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. And that's the end. And then the other scripture reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28. And you may recognize it. It goes like this. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. So sleep is a gift from God, these scriptures say. But sometimes it's hard to go to sleep, right? Sometimes we don't want to go. What helps you go to sleep when it's hard? Music. Music? Yeah. I wonder what else helps you go to sleep. Sometimes we read stories. Or we take a warm bath. Sometimes I know when uh, we're having a hard time settling down, we just run around a little bit and get our energy out. Sometimes we pray and we give our worries over to God. Sometimes we snuggle, right? Miss Gwendolyn, who just woke up from her nap, when, when, when you're having a hard time falling asleep, what do we do, Gwendolyn? We sometimes bounce and sing. I wonder what helps you sleep when you're having a hard time and how you can invite God to be with you in that. Um, it's, been a, it's been a hard week, and I think a lot of us find our head spinning at night and have a hard time falling asleep. Um, should we say a little prayer together to help God be with us in our sleep? Dear God, <laughs> we know that your sweet sleep is a gift that we desperately need. Will you be with us today and tonight at nap time and bedtime and every stormy troubled time in our lives to help us rest in your love? Amen? Amen. Yeah.